The countdown's well underway. There's less than a month to go now until this year's Great Yorkshire Show. And over the past few months, we've been following horsewoman Kath Barley as she prepares to compete. So how's she getting on? We trim all the whiskers and eyelashes off the mare, but not off the foal. We leave the foal as natural as possible. Um, and we've started plaiting the foal's tail, so it's used to having its tail plaited because it's quite tight and they can get a bit fidgety with them. So we plait the foal's tail and the mare's tail and the mare's mane, and the foal's mane stays nice and natural. And how's the foal changed over the past few months? Because it's been a busy couple of months for you. It's been actually really good looking back at the videos because I can see how much she's grown. When you see a foal every day, you don't realise. Um, you know they're growing, but you don't realise how much. So to look back, it's been really good. From the first day she was born, she's just matured so much and her personality's coming out more now. So we're getting used to her and she has matured. She's grown, she's filled out and she's looking quite good feisty little character as well. <laughs> yeah, a little feisty girl. She's uh, a little filly, so she will maybe allow her that a little bit. But it's it's in a good way. It's um, It says, look at me, I'm here and I want to be seen, which, which is good from a showing point of view. There isn't long to go now, so what are you going to be doing over the next few weeks? We will actually do more of the leading, the walking and trotting, um, but we will actually take them to a show in preparation um, so that the foal's used to the atmosphere. I mean, it won't be anything like the atmosphere at the Yorkshire Show, but it will just get her used to being out in company, seeing other things, and just prepares her a little bit more. Um, the foal, <laughs> it doesn't know what a brush is or didn't, so to start grooming her was a little bit more difficult. Uh, we start on the neck and work around the body, and she's, she's used to it now and she's quite happy. And the same goes for when we're oiling her feet to start with that was a, a bit of an issue and oh what's that tickling but now she's fine with that and just more working up to to the big day more practice really for the next few weeks a lot more practice and you're looking forward to it oh really looking forward to it that wednesday morning half seven nervous but really excited as well so what will the judges be looking for liz morley has more than 30 years experience but won't be judging at this year's great yorkshire show She's going to tell me what she looks for in a winner. In the in-hand classes and the broodmare class, which we're talking about today, um, I want to see a mare walk into the ring with a big swinging stride. And, and then when you have a closer look, um, she has to move. When you see her trot, she has to move correctly, walk away and trot back. And then you want good limb and quality and a lovely head. And hopefully she passes all the good points onto the foal. You've been judging for more than 30 years now. You're not judging at this year's Great Yorkshire, but how prestigious is it to be part of it? Oh, the Yorkshire show is, well, it's the premier show now in England. So everybody aspires to win at the Yorkshire show. And certainly those of us that breed horses, to have a winner at the Yorkshire is absolutely the epitome. And just how difficult is it to achieve that? Well, it's, it's very difficult uh, because the, uh, the standard at the Yorkshire is, is always very, very high. So, you know, everybody pulls all the stops out. The next time we meet Kath, Melamaid and Maid of Honour will be the big day. Join us to find out how they get on. We've got a chance for you to win a family ticket to this year's Great Yorkshire Show. Here's Kath with the question and the winner from our last competition. The winner of the last competition was Stanley Glendinning from Harrogate, who correctly answered that there are 155 equine classes at this year's Great Yorkshire Show. For a chance to win a family ticket to this year's Great Yorkshire Show, the question is, what is the date of the first day of this year's show?